Well, hey there, my friend. Welcome back to the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm your host, Wendy Batten, and I am following up with sort of a part two from our takeaways from our Level Up Mastermind retreat that I recently held here in my home or in my hometown. And we're going to talk about marketing today and a couple of the takeaways from marketing, three of the metrics that I kind of get a little bit, I got a little pushy about, (laughs) I keep telling my members, my mastermind members that these are the three biggies and I'm going to talk about them over and over and over again. But this season right now, what we're facing, you know, these next three months, the, the, the big crunch, the three things that you should be like the most wildly important goals, if you will, that I think retailers should be looking at. I don't always say should be, but I'm going to share those with you today. And yeah, I'm happy you're here. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all the feedback and I've been getting, we've been getting a lot of comments on the podcast. We've been getting, I've been personally getting a lot of DMs in my Instagram. I love when you chat with me on Instagram. So (laughs) sometimes again, here on the podcast, it gets a little lonely just talking to my mic. So I love knowing what has been inspiring for you or what has been helpful for you. And I always say, well, we will continue to be putting the podcast out. It's a free resource for you. It's not free for me or my team. And I don't do all this alone. So I have a big um, production team, I guess I should say we we're it takes a village, it takes a team, as we always say, to get product get, to get the podcast out every week. So thank you for listening. And thanks to my team for making me sound good and taking all my ums out and getting it out into the wild. And we will continue to do this as long as there's interest. So let us know. We love seeing your downloads, but we also love when you share with uh, fellow business owners, if there's any takeaways from the podcast that you find helpful, or if you're binge listening, as some of you have recently told me that you've been doing you know, if you can share that on your socials, it just really helps us here on the podcast. It helps me know that you're listening. It also helps other retailers find us. And that's, of course, good for everybody. So thank you for sharing when you do share. I appreciate you and I appreciate you listening. So today I wanted to share some takeaways of a conversation, part of our conversation that we had during my recent mastermind meetup. So I was hosting members of the Level Up Mastermind group that I host, (laughs) mastermind retreat that we host. And of course, the wait list is open if you'd love to be part of that group. We don't always have a lot of open, opening, openings, (laughs) opening seats. (laughs) seats. <laughs> what are we calling these? Anyway, we don't have a lot of openings for new members and it is an application process. And, but the first ones in are the first ones I look at. So if we have a couple of seats, we will definitely look at yours. So please fill one out and apply to be inside this group with our fabulous mastermind members. We would love to have you join us in 2025 for big changes. If you're looking for shifts and changes, this is the room to be in, in your retail business if you want better. Okay, I want to talk about marketing. So let's get to it. Running a retail business doesn't have to be so hard. Welcome to the Creative Shop Talk podcast, the go-to podcast for creative shop owners, studio owners, and independent retailers. I'm your host, Wendy Batten, retail business coach and mentor. Each week, I'll share simple, proven business strategies, inspiring stories from fellow retailers, and advice from industry experts. Together, we're going to work to find the success you want from your retail business with more profits in your till and a little more joy in your life. Okay, so, okay. (laughs) How many times can Wendy say, okay, let's get to it before we actually get to it. One of the things that the conversation that we had during our retreat, and again, if you missed last week's episode, I shared six takeaways from the retreat, six conversations that happened, six key elements, I think. There were many, many more, but I wanted to bring some to the podcast. And marketing is getting its own podcast today. So we talk a lot about more people in the door, right? That's what we need. We always say, you know, but that's not 
the only metric, right? That's not the only metric. It's not the only thing. That's not going to save your business. That's not going to make you money. It, some people, money's coming in and going out the door just as fast. So the first thing you have to know, you have to know exactly, exactly how much money you need to make. Not how much you want to make, not how much you want to beat for last year's, not, you know, what would be nice. We need to know exactly what we need to make. So that's not what this podcast is going to be about, but I really want to make sure that you understand before we put any marketing in place, we want to know why. Why are we doing it? That's the strategy we talked about last week in the takeaways. Why do we need, why is this number important? So before we do any marketing, before we put any strategy around that, we need to know our numbers. So I'm going to just put a pin in that, leave that with you. You should know your numbers, understanding where your money's going, understanding how much you need to keep the lights on, understanding for payroll, profits, operations, all of those things. Those are all the things we talk about in our groups, but I'm going to put a pin in that and we're going to talk about the marketing side of it. So once we know the number exactly how much money do we need to make in October? How much money do we need to make in November? How much money do we need to make exactly in December? Those three months broken down or whatever three months you're working on, whenever you're listening to this episode, we need to know those numbers. So once we know exactly those numbers, we reverse engineer how we're going to make it. And it's as simple as understanding your average order value. Like what, what is your average order value? What is our, like, so we'll know how many people do we need to come into the shop? So we're going to look at our average order value and we're going to play with that because we're going to challenge ourselves to make that a little bit better. But that will help us figure out how many people do we need to come into the shop? So that's our foot traffic number. So the three biggies for this podcast episode and what I wanted to share with you and takeaways and conversations that we had during our mastermind retreat were exactly that. These are the three numbers. These are the three sentences I want you to be able to answer before. Well, now you're going to have to do it now if you're getting ready for. So we want to know foot traffic. And I literally wrote out, like, you need to write out this sentence. I will have blank number of customers through the door by blank. So by the end of October, we need to be specific and time bound. So specific and time bound, meaning specifically, exactly how many people do we need in the door? I promise you, if you sit down and you do that math around that, it helps you with your marketing. We'll get to that in a sec. The next number is your conversion rate. So you may not know your current conversion rate if you haven't been practicing this, but it's counting the number of foot traffic and then understanding how many people, what percentage of people are buying. That's your conversion rate from your um, foot traffic. So if 100 people walk in and 80 of them buy, that's an 80% conversion rate. And just doing things to tweak that conversion rate. So we will have, we will raise our conversion rate. Here's the sentence you want, (laughs) sorry. We will raise our conversion rate from blank to blank by blank. And then we're gonna put strategy around that, right? We will raise our conversion rate from blank to blank by blank. So by end of October, by end of November, by end of December. This is is what we did during the mastermind. And then the last one is your average order. We will increase our average order value, or you can also work on your units per transaction from blank to blank by blank. And this is the work that the CEO does. This is your work to do. This is your, this is where the magic happens. This is where your growth edge is. We talked about growth edge last week. This is your job. This is what we do. Knowing these numbers and understanding how that works. So we can tweak these numbers, right? If we get more foot traffic in and we convert more, our average order maybe doesn't have to, we don't have to work as hard on getting our average order up. If we increase our average order and our conversion rate we don't have to work so hard to get the foot traffic in this is simple math it's simple like and it's it's so much clearer it'll be so much clearer for you to understand what you need to do then we apply promotions so if I look and I'm like ah, I need 800 people to come in the shop and spend x number of you know next x number of dollars 
this is where I'm going to start sprinkling in my promotions. We're not just going to do our annual open house. Like that's, that's BS. That's just what everybody does, right? There has to be a pur purpose. Sorry, it's not BS that you're doing an annual open house. I'm going to totally encourage you to do that. <laughs> I'm feeling a little salty today. Sorry, but I, it's really important that you understand how many people do you need to come in? We have a whole podcast series on running events and promotions and how to attach like goals and plans around that. We'll link those in the podcast here, but really understanding if we need to have 500 people, 200 people, 300 people, 7,000 people into your shop during October, how are we going to do that? Holy crap. Are we going to just wait for people to come in? No, we're going to sprinkle in some promotions, events, not sales, <laughs> You, not sales it does not have to be a sale it's value add it's all the different things so I really want to encourage you to understand these three things you really want to know exactly what your foot traffic needs to be exactly what your conversion rate needs to be and exactly what your average order needs to be or you want it to be and again we will raise our average order from blank to blank by blank and I'm telling you, there is magic in, our, a magic in doing that. And of course, you can take our, our marketing master classes to understand how to do that. There's all kinds of things we can do to increase foot traffic. It's inviting people in. It's getting more visibility. It's all of the things, right? We have several podcasts on that. We also have a master class that we can, that we, that we provide. It's, you know, marketing master class for understanding what you can do to pull these levers but your conversion rate thinking about what can you do in your store what are we doing in the store to train our sales staff what are we doing for signage what are we doing for lighting what are we doing for merchandising that's how you increase your conversion rate we don't just let people walk in walk around and say oh they didn't buy nobody wants to buy people all have budgets that's an excuse you have to be selling you have to be helpful to your client you have to check out your that's where your customer experience comes in this is all basic retail but when you do this work and I say basic retail because of course we want foot traffic of course we want conversion rate of course we want to increase our average order but nobody's doing this work and I shouldn't say nobody members of our mastermind are doing this work a lot of members of our inner circle are doing this work a lot of my private clients are doing this work and they're seeing the results again it's not rocket science it's just taking being an intentional about how we're marketing so that's my podcast for the day. That's my lesson for the day. That's my reminder to you for the day. Know exactly what your foot traffic number needs to be. How many people exactly do you need to get in the door? And I'm going to tell you playing with those numbers is crazy fun because you know, the next step to that is, well, and what do we want them to buy, right? So we also have the holiday boot camp where this is all like we have tons of promotions, tons of like and I say tons of like October, November, December, we've broken it down. We've given you all kinds of opportunities and ideas to add promotions, events, to get your foot traffic up, to get your conversion up, to bundle and all the things that we can do to increase our average order, average order. That's all included in the holiday success boot camp. that's also available on my website. So that's still available right now. And I want to encourage you maybe to go grab that. That's a very low ticket, very easy way to understand some of these numbers and get the success you want this season. Let's not just hope for it. Let's plan for it. Let's be strategic. Let's do the work. This is not going to take you hours and hours and hours. This is sitting down with your CEO hat on. And it's what we did during our mastermind group. So a lot of the retailers who attended our mastermind have been working through these. This was like a big, this is a big shift. This is what this is what successful retailers are doing right now. And I know you want to be, you are a successful retailer. You want to be more successful. You want to bet, run a better shop. If this is you and that's what you want to do, this is the work you have to do. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for listening today. I hope you found this helpful. Jump into my DMs. Let me know. Let me know how you're making out with these numbers. Do you have those numbers? What is the foot traffic? I would love to know your actual numbers. Like how many people do you need to have in the door for foot traffic in October, in November, in December? I'd love to know those numbers. What is your planned conversion rate? What is your planned average order value? What are you doing to get there? I would love if you would share that with me. This would just like light my day up. So also, again, if you found this helpful or you know any other retailers that might find this helpful, this kind of, I want to say, this is my no nonsense talk today. <laughs> just... 
here's what you need to do. Here's how you do it. Let's just go do it. If you find that helpful, please share this episode with a fellow retailer. It would be an honor if you would do that for me. So thank you, my friend. We will see you back here, same time, same place next week with another podcast episode for you. We have some great guests coming up. I know you all seem to love when we have fellow retailers coming up. So we have some great interviews coming up over the next little while with some real retailers, as we like to say, behind the counter, conversations from behind the counter. All right, my friend, have a fabulous week. We will see you here next week. Thank you for being here. Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm so glad that you're here to join us this week, and I hope you found value in what we're sharing here. I want to remind you that our website has all of the show notes. You can find it at wendybatten.com slash podcast. Everything that you need to hear about today's podcast is there. Also an opportunity if you need to reach out to me. If I can support you in any way whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. So thanks for joining us. Please leave a review, subscribe if you can, and never miss an episode. We hope to see you back here again next week. Thanks, my friend. Have a great week.